Hey guys, hoodlongs attack vote buyers. Cut away 1.5 million naira cash in Imo State. Wow, <laughs> this is really very, very interesting. And these have got Nigerians talking. Deadred robbers on Saturday attacked the agent of the All Progressive Congress, APC, at All Saints Anglican Church, Iwe, and cutted away over 1.5 million. The hoodlums had walked into the church premises, housing four pulling units in their numbers and needs shooting and demanded money from the APC officials. Leadership saw people, including policemen and journalists, running heter skater and means heavy, heavy shooting. A voter, okay, told leadership that the gunmen had walked into the premises like regular voters, only to spring a, a surprise by pulling out their arms while policemen took to their heels. He said, We had just we, we had just finished complaining about the APC agents. A low bargaining for votes when these boys walked in and demanded for the money that was about to be shared and means heavy shooting. Why everyone took to their heels. Everything happened in less than two minutes. As everybody had run away, they simply walked away into their vehicle and speed off. Okay, said. According to him, the agent we are sharing the money among the Serbs before the incident. Imagine, what a shame. You see, Nigeria has become the talk of the day before the income, uh, international communities. We don't do election here in Nigeria. Yes, we don't do election. And you see this thing I make it's doing. Well, I don't really blame them. After all, Nigerian courts have said they are free to do whatever they like. So, with that, we can understand what these people are prepared to do and what they are still going to do tomorrow and in the future. You understand? This is not going to stop here. Nigeria don't finish with this. People are not allowed to vote for their, for, for their preferred co uh, candidates. They will do voting. INEC announce the winner from their hearts. Then they say go to court. If you are not satisfied, go to court. Then the, the court will now stamp it for INEC. You understand? You, you, you want to buy people. You want to buy people. That is why we don't have good leadership. Those who are supposed to rule us, those who are prepared to do the job, they are not given the opportunity. Maybe because they don't have the money or the influence and all that. I don't even know how we get to this. How are we going to end this? This is a very big problem, but whether you like it or not, Nigeria is in a mess. See what is happening in Kogi State. Already written uh, uh, electoral material, you know, was brought to the polling units. Who, who tompered those ones? Who voted for those, for, for those, for those materials, those, those sheets they brought? Protests are still ongoing in Kogi State. Nigerians are not allowed to vote for their preferred candidates. And this is really very wrong. It's unfair. It's very, very unfair. You understand? If this is what they will be doing, there is no need calling out people to come and risk their life. People, they risk their life. They risk their life. This kind of a thing now that happened, what of if stray bullets now, they can't shoot gun. You can't go, you go, can't go enter one... Uh, one person. That one don't go be that. Your life don't finish. Nigerians will try to make impact. But these people keep on dragging us back. They keep on tr dragging us back. All these things, all these things are happening. It's not election. It's a very shameful act. It's disgracing. And this is alarming. You understand? This is not an election. It can't be like saying a war. Election is supposed to be a game. You understand? It's a game of, it's a game of chance. If the people like you, if they, they feel that you are capable to lead them, they will vote you. But if they see you, if they don't weigh you finish saying you're not going to fix, they're not going to vote for you. 
But that does not mean that you cannot win next time. So, Nigerian politicians should stop making election do or die affair. Let the electorate decide who wins. Stop using money to buy people. We don't get the real person to take up this job because of the money. And it's only Nigerians can change this scenario. It's only us. And then they rig election. Not the animals and they use the rig election. Election they start, rigging election they start from, from INEC. That is how it is. And those people, those INEC officials, they are not animals. They are not foreigners. They are Nigerians. You get. <laughs> so if we want to stop this rigging election, it's going to start from much. When you look at this thing now, how many are they, these politicians now, how many are they, how many are Nigerians? Why will you allow a few set of people to cage you? Now we plenty pass the politicians. Why will you allow them to cage you because of what they want to give to you? They don't use you collect, collect snatch by lot bus, right? They don't give you 50k or 20k, go flares and that day, that night you don't finish. Tomorrow call them. They won't pick your call again. You know why? They have used you. That is the only place you are good for. And they have already used you. You understand? Well, you see what happened here? Me, I go tell you, say I like them. They collect the money from the APC agent. Do they supposed to bring money to the polling unit? Why are you sharing money? Why are you sharing money? Why are you buying votes? I love the way they collected the money from them and they work at Peaceful. If then they do politicians like this, you go to sweet way way. Not by going, you go and kidnap poor Nigerians that they hustle like you. You they keep poor Nigerians when they hustle like you, like you. They feel the same pain you they feel. You see these politicians when they carry the money. So if they go collect the money, as they collect the money, sweet, sweet me. They collect the money, they work up. They don't touch anybody. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. Share this video. Let, let it go viral. So Nigerians will understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.